Okay, so you've seen how to create a bar setup, create a sample, and trim your data and look at a sample in the viewing software. Let's go back and create another sample. So you just click create new sample and it clears out your data and your parameters. Let's create a tension rectangular sample. We're going to call this sample 54. Fill in some parameters here. And we're going to, oops, I already have the bar set up. Um, this can go metric or English. So I'm going to show you some advanced functionality of the uh, loading data files. So I'm going to go to 54 Pico, open this up, and now I can just select the interpreter that I saved earlier, and it sets this first column to milliseconds, incident, strain gauge, transmission, strain gauge, and I'm done. So if you have to repeat this process, it'll be much faster with that feature. Also to this one, I'm going to add um, more strain data. Um, in addition to the uh, incident pulse or uh, reflected pulse. So I'm going to add this strain data from digital image correlation software. So I click next and I don't have a time column so I'm going to enter my collection rate which is 500,000 and I'm only interested in my mean E1. So I click here and this is true strain, so I select true strain, done, next, next, and done. So now I actually have two strain data there. I go into trim data and I do the same process as before. Selecting my data of interest. With these buttons, you can go one data point at a time. And then um, I'm going to add a tension folder here and save the sample. You'll notice that it saves the icon with a tension rectangular and a compression. So I'm going to go ahead and create a tension round as well. You can see how fast this software can be. So after going through that process, I'm going to do a attention, make myself a tension round folder in the sample data. I'm going to save the sample here. So now we have three different types of samples saved. 